Let's talk embroidery tension on the Foff Creative Icon. So we were just stitching out this built-in design and I wanted to talk about what we're looking for for good tension. So normally you have white thread, a bobbin weight thread in and on the bobbin. And then that just is usually white. It's super easy uh, to notice if you have tension issues unless you're stitching with white thread. So let's talk about what we're looking at. So when you flip over a design Design. Number one, you should see a little bit of the top color coming to the back. About a third, a third, and a third. So a third of the middle of a satin stitch should be the white bobbin thread. A third of each side should be the color. Now again, it's a little harder to tell with the tension, if the tension is a little bit um, not perfect when it's white thread with white bobbin thread. So we're gonna keep our eye down on this part. So another thing is too, if you're ever stitching on white fabric and you see the edge of your stitching look a little bit rough, what you're actually seeing is that the white bobbin thread is coming up to the top, but it's blending in with the white background and often causes people to not know what is going on. It just looks like awful embroidery. Well, nobody wants that. You want nice smooth color on the top side because it's being pulled to the back. Now, it is and there is going to be a time when you're gonna see some white bobbin thread come to the top. Now what? So while you're in the embroidery stitch out screen, touch stitch out progress, and you're gonna find over here, we have the ability to adjust the tension. It's gonna start with a number of 50. And at this point, we are adjusting how tight the top thread is. So if you're seeing bobbin thread coming to the top of your embroidery, the top thread is too tight. So we're gonna put it to a lower number. It makes the bobbin thread tighter to help pull it to the back side. So it doesn't matter what this number actually is, as long as you're getting good results on your fabric. So notice it does come down in increments of five. So 45, 40, or you can type it in if you touch the number. 40. So usually if I'm having issues, I'll drop it to 40 or even 35, just to kind of see if that is what's going to cause the uh, a better result. Now do keep in mind you need to be using good quality thread. When was the last time you changed your needle? Have you cleaned out down in the bobbin case area? All these things can make a difference in how the stitching actually appears. If you haven't had your machine serviced in the last year or two, you might just be getting to a point where everything needs to kind of be reset. Like get in your oil changed in your car, they check your brakes, they make everything a little tighter, tighten up everything, and they do the same thing on sewing machines. Don't forget to take your embroidery unit in when you have it serviced, but this would be uh, something to consider, some of those other options. So if it helps, but you haven't gotten all the bobbin thread to disappear, don't be afraid. You can take this 30, 25, and even a little lower should you find the best results at that smaller number. Now, if you get too low and it's just not working, things have loosened up on your machine and it is time to have it serviced. Get everything tightened back up, cleaned out, and you'll be good to go. So don't be afraid of little white bobbin thread, but just know you wanna instantly come over here and fix it. Another thing you can do is actually back up. So if you've stitched it, now you've fixed it to the better tension, don't be afraid to actually come back to the beginning of a color and completely double stitch with the correct tension over what was not looking so good. So that's another thing. You won't really see the difference. Only you and I will know the difference, but if you don't tell anybody, nobody will see that double stitched and it will turn out and look beautiful at the end. So the moral of the story here is no bobbin thread on the top and make sure that it, you know and you're comfortable with reducing the top tension number to a smaller number for the best results.